Hello and welcome back to HR Horrors. I'm George Akel and today we're looking at the grand plan that became the Grand Sham. An organization uh, that had been growing progressively had been located in a less than glamorous part of town in a now deteriorating building and they wanted to make the big move to a upper part of town and to a brand new building. This would improve morale of staff and it would also improve the view of the brand of the organization in the marketplace. So the real estate folks got together with the HR folks to determine what is the human capital needs that are required to be met in this building. That is office space. How many people, how much space do we need? and also to plan for future growth. Now, they put that together and they uh, built a spec, signed the lease and agreed on the terms and began moving forward. It was uh, a six month fit out, so they needed to get moving. As they began the fit out and started discussing space requirements with individual business managers and to determine the configuration of their office space, they be quickly became aware of the fact that there was something amiss in the calculations. The space that they had provided each of the business units wasn't enough to cover all their staff. Now, in some areas, there was a shortage of 40%, in others, 20%, some 10%, but there was a shortage. On and on and on, this theme continued. The real estate folks quickly panicked and thought maybe they'd uh, made some miscalculation when they were configuring it themselves, but uh, they quickly became aware of the fact that it was actually the HR data that was wrong. And what was wrong about it was that HR provided only the full-time people on payroll as the headcount numbers required to be seated. And they neglected to take into account temps and contractors and consultants. Now this was a blow to the organization. It was certainly an embarrassing blow to the HR folks who uh, the organization believed were in control of the entire human capital population of the organization and they clearly weren't. And it was also a hit to the public relations uh, of the organization with man between management and staff because as it turned out leases had been signed they now needed to determine who was going to stay at the old building and who was going to get to move to the new building. Now this became a real, real problem. Now, HR could have resolved this simply by ensuring that their human capital records included temps, contractors, consultants and the people on the payroll. Now, they need to know that not just from a space requirement perspective, they need to know that from a workforce planning perspective, from a budgeting perspective, budgeting for full-time equivalents, and from a financial budgeting perspective. They also need to know that, very importantly, considering the times we're living in today, from a disaster recovery perspective. It's incumbent upon the organization to be able to identify how many people they have in a building should something happen to that building, who the people are, who their contacts are, etc. And then also, on top of that, there are regulatory requirements. In some jurisdictions, there are uh, clauses and, and laws that regulate the number of months a temp or contract or a consultant can be hired by an organization before they become a full-time equivalent, that is, requiring the same benefits that a full-time person requires. So it's very, very important. And then there is also the reporting, the data analytics uh, and the metrics that HR provide. Now, if they don't include the temps and contractors and consultants in their headcount numbers, in their data analytics, then they're clearly not giving a full picture to the organization. Anyway, at GovernHR, we've had extensive experience with data management and HRMI producing it. Uh, we've worked across the entire Asia Pacific region on local, global and regional projects, uh, including the building up of an HRMI business unit in Asia Pacific. So please 
Click the like button below if you like this uh, video. Subscribe so you get the latest videos as and when they come out. Check out our website and let us know if you'd like to discuss anything at all. Um, drop us a line and we'll get back to you regarding your uh, obligation-free and cost-free initial consultation. So thanks for listening. Goodbye. Cheers.